check my English. Well, of course, especially if you are my BSA, student from my academy. If you don't know me very well, hello, I am Teacher Pricks, and I'm going to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Well, maybe you don't know me so well, but I help pre-intermediate and intermediate students to go from stuck to speaking, and I have an online program called the Real English Academy. And in my academy, I have my students, my BSA. And I decided to create this new series here on my channel, and I asked for my students' help. Yes, help. <laughs> um, I asked them to record a video speaking about any subject, and then I would watch this video here. You know, I watched a little bit of the video. I didn't watch everything uh, because I wanted to do this as naturally as possible. I just told my students that they were not supposed to read anything that it could talk for about three minutes, and that then I would correct their video here on my social media, and they gave me permission to do so. So as of now, I'm going to listen to the first student. She will have to forgive me because I'm not sure I understand how to pronounce her name. She's German, so I have trouble pronouncing my baby's name sometimes. <laughs> But let's see, okay? Hello and good morning, guys. Hello, Teacher Pricks. What an amazing idea to invite us for recording videos for you. Now, here at this beginning, her pronunciation is very clear right off the bat. This is my first feedback. Keep it up. Your pronunciation is soft, is clear. And this is something we look for um, when learning English, when improving our English, especially when you are at a, an intermediate level and trying to reach a more advanced level. Students are so worried about speaking too fast that they unfortunately dismiss the, the necessity, the importance of speaking clearly. Nevertheless, pay attention to your pauses. It was a little bit longer than what I would like, but I know it's your practice time. So pay attention to your pauses so that they are not as dramatic as we like to say. Your channel. Uh, I'm happy that I can support you in that. Now, I'm happy that I can support you. It is not wrong to say that, but one thing that we, that we can do instead is I'm happy to support. I'm happy to support your channel. This was a nice idea. I'm happy to support your channel. I'm happy that I can support your channel. This is possible. It is acceptable. But if I compare to what a native speaker would do, they would probably opt for, oh, I'm happy to help. Okay. That way. And of course, I give you my permission to use this video on your channels. For practicing purpose. Now, I asked my students to tell me this um, as they recorded their video to give me permission because I will be posting this here on YouTube, eventually on Instagram. So it's nice that they gave me permission to do so. <laughs> my name is Henrique and I'm from Enrique. Okay, so I, I think I got it. Enrique. I'm from Germany and I am part of the BSA group since March or April. Now she says, I am part of the academy since March or April. While I understand the content, I absolutely understand this would be a perfect moment to use present perfect. I've been part of the academy. Ah, I've been a BSA since I've been part of the academy since March or since April. Uh, 2024. And I tried to improve my English fluency for having a better feeling. And, fe and here you used simple present, which is okay. But as you're explaining, oh, I, I've been part of the academy since April, since March, and I try to improve my fluency. I would use present continuous or even present perfect continuous. Oh, and I've been working on my English fluency. I wouldn't use try as much. I, and I've been working on my English fluency. This would be a nice touch. You can use try, no problems, but this is just a recommendation. Let me, let me go back a little. I try to improve my English fluency for having a better feeling to feel better, to feel more confident, to have a better feeling is okay. It's not for, it's to. It, it, um, you're indicating purpose here and you're using a verb. I am studying English. I'm trying to improve my fluency to feel better, to feel more confident. And feeling more comfortable 
in speaking and feel more comfortable speaking no need to add another preposition there um, to add a preposition to feel comfortable speaking in speaking not necessary but i understand what you're trying to say and yes what i can what should i tell you more now, haha, this is a catch. Enrique, I accepted your video as I mentioned before, but this is a nice uh, moment for me to share this feedback with you and with everyone watching. Guys, when you sit down to pre excuse me, when you sit down to practice your English speaking, you need to have an idea in mind. Because if you sit down to practice your English speaking without an idea, this is going to happen. You're going to be thinking, hmm, okay, what do I talk about? Um, well, my last weekend. And then what is going to happen? In most cases, typically, your direction, you will, you will go in the direction of easier subjects. As she's going to, I remember this because I, I watched her video once. She's going to talk about her weekend plans. And that is a nice subject. But use your time to talk about something that is going to challenge you more. Okay? Like this morning, I was studying English and then I, I listened about, uh, I listened to an interview with a food photographer. And she was describing why she decided to, to take up photography when she was a child. Ugh neighbors huh and uh, the challenges in her field so it was an interesting subject for me to listen about and after i finished the exercise i decided to talk about and i practiced for like three four minutes talking about what i heard and sharing my opinion on the subject so this is a um, speaking requires preparation especially if you are alone because if you were my student from my academy for example we have group conversation classes and i provide the subject so that you know and this is my recommendation enrique pay attention to the group conversation classes that we have inside the platform pick the subjects and then you will have plenty of questions for you to answer and that will be much easier for you because when you're speaking and you decide at that moment to plan what to speak about you will speak much less and you have a beautiful english okay you could have spoken much more but don't worry you can do another video post more i gave a deadline to my babies i intend to do this more frequently so the students are welcome to participate to be honest this is my first video i record so you see to be honest this is the first video i record excuse me this is the first video i i record she could have, um, it's okay, I can use simple present. This is the first time I'm recording a video. This would be my suggestion. This is the first time I'm recording a video. It is, I've never seen her videos. In our group on Facebook, we have some um, moments to post videos. We have some challenges. I don't correct those challenges, but I'm always listening to my babies to pay attention to mistakes they're making so that I can create the lessons that I share with them three times a month, group conversation classes, workshops. So I like to listen so that I can have ideas on what to do next. So it is her first time recording the video. So this is nice. It's a great, um, uh, great start. Do more of them it'll be a very enriching experience it'll definitely help you brush up on your english and it's lots of fun because i guess that's it is my first no it is my fifth um see there was a long pause there it was my fifth time because she has kids I, that, that I remember she has kids. So she was worried about background noise. Now, guys, here she was thinking, as I said before, work on your dramatic pause. Okay, Enrique. But at the same time, I'm very happy because you don't use as many filler sounds and filler words. You tend to exaggerate the end a little, which is fine. I do that sometimes. I'm guilty as well. But what I like about your your speaking practice is that you don't try to use a lot of um, filler sound like just as i did a uh, filler sounds and filler words so this is work in practice you know it's it's a continuous work so keep that up you will see that the more you practice your english speaking the more subjects you try to talk about the better you will get at these pauses and you will additionally you will start to include sentences and expressions to fill the space, to fill the gap. This is what I feel is missing. 
especially because you didn't plan a subject, something to talk about. Okay. This is my fifth try because I have my children around me and I don't want that you get any background noises. Let me go back this again. Let me go back. Because I have my children around me and I don't want that you get any. I don't want that you get any background noise. I don't want you to get. Okay. No need to use that. This is a common mistake students make. They want to include the word that. I don't want to, I don't want that you get, but you don't need to do that. I don't want you to get. Okay. I don't want you to hear. That would be a better verb, but I can completely understand what you said. Use what you have. That's what I always teach my babies. Use what you got. And you did. Wonderful. Don't worry. Background is part, background noise is part of life. Okay. As I am recording this video, I can hear some background noise. Hopefully you won't. <laughs> background noises. So I stopped the record. And so I stopped recording. Use it as a verb. Okay. I stopped recording. That's all you should say. And uh, start it again and again and again. And I hope that my children are going to play now without making any noise. And I have the chance to record the video till its end. So I have just three minutes. I asked my babies to talk for three minutes, no longer than that, not too short uh, either. Because uh, one thing that I teach my babies inside the academy is to be objective. Fluency is not about talking and talking and speaking and speaking nonstop, but knowing how to describe your ideas, how to express your thoughts, your emotions, and your feelings in a concise way. So this is something that I often do with my babies inside the academy. I oftentimes give them exercises during our group conversation classes where I set a timer. You have one minute and you have to answer this question, which is not so easy. And they have to practice the ability of describing, sharing their opinion in an objective way. But I guess I won't need the whole time. Well, what can I tell you more? And uh, the weekend is... Well, what else can I tell you? That would be my suggestion. Very close. And we're going to have some activities outside. We want to join a medieval market. We're going to join. Let me see. Let me hear it again. Activities outside. We want to join a medieval market. So we want to join a medieval market. We will be visiting um, a medieval market for the first time. I don't know if it's the first time. This would have been a nice touch. Is it the first time you're visiting a medieval, uh, medieval market? Or is it the second time? Have you been there before? Did anyone tell you about this market? So these are things that you could have added considering you had time which is very close to us and we're very excited or we're very exciting. We are very excited. We don't use exciting to describe people. We use exciting to describe situations. This activity is exciting. Visiting a medieval market, that's, that's plenty of fun in my opinion, but you are excited, your, your family. I know you used we, we are very excited, very excited. What we will see there. At we are excited what we will see. We need a preposition there. We are excited about what we're going to see there. So that's, that's what I meant. And how the castle will be. And yes, it will be the first time. And how the castle will be. Um, I would change the sentence a little. Oh, we are excited about what we're going to see there. There's also a castle and uh, we can't wait to see it. So this would be a nice touch for my little children and the second time for me and oh, okay so see i didn't remember that so it's the first time for her children and the second time for her yes we are very excited and hope that we are going to have lots of fun um, and the second time for me and yes we are very excited and hope that we are going to have lots of fun the same thing here again and hope that we will have lots of fun and I hope we have lots of fun and hopefully use an adverb. You want to sound more advanced, include more adverbs. Okay. And hopefully we will have plenty of fun. Well, so far from my side, I hope you all will enjoy your day.
and we'll have a good day stay healthy and bye bye awesome very nice enrique wonderful job um this is something that i i am excited about okay there are more videos from different babies that i will be correcting i intend to correct one video per week so that i can share some positive feedback some recommendations some possible mistakes, grammar mistakes, preposition mistakes, or better collocations. Do you want to improve your English speaking? I imagine you do. So make sure to check this video and other videos that I have here on my channel. But other than that, subscribe and share this video with a friend. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.